Now, that little 10 year old says that she knew how to fight back because of a recent trip that she took to Gatorland. And Jackie Roscoe is joining us live. She's there at Gatorland with some tips that we can all learn from. Hi, Jackie. Yeah, good morning to you guys. I definitely do need to know this t these tips because there's about 21 gators very nearby me. I'm here with the park director, Mike, here from Gatorland. So kind of just show us. We really want to know where the nostrils are and, you know, how the little girl did it. Sure. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, Julia did an incredible job. Uh, you know, I'm glad she's recovering very well. But what she did is really hard to do. It's incredible. Uh, if you look on this big guy right here, you can't really see his nostrils, but they're right here located very very soft and fleshy, and what happens when you aggravate those, sometimes they'll open their mouth up. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's kind of smiling at us right now this morning. Uh, <laughs> but that's really an incredible thing that she was able to process the information, reach down in there, and actually find the sensitive part of the alligator and start tapping on it and doing the things that she was doing. And it worked. It got the alligator to let go. So is that the best technique to do if you do, you know, if you're in the shallow water and you see a big guy like this? I tell you, the best thing to do if you see an alligator. Alligator in shallow water is get the heck out of there. Um, but if you find yourself in that encounter, I've been asked this question for over 20 years. What do you do if an alligator is attacking you? And the answer is whatever you can. Uh, you got to fight and you got to fight hard because alligators don't really want to work that hard. And if you're mm -hmm. fighting, they're liable to leave you alone. Can you show us just teeth? Like, yeah. my, my goodness. And, and you were talking about the strength. Yeah. Uh, alligator like this size right here can have over 3,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. The one that Julia encountered could easily have 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. And you can see all the teeth, up to 82 of them mm -hmm. can be in there. Uh, so the fact that she was able to get this powerful animal to let go, it's amazing. Wow. Can you try to see if you could? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, get him, I'll see if I can get him to smile. <laughs> okay, and I'll stand back. Hey, Bubba, come on. <laughs> But yeah, it's just a miracle that uh, in the end uh, there were also uh, billowing, Good right? Good morning. Yeah, <laughs> it's part of the breeding season right now, mm -hmm. and they're talking, and uh, they're basically the big males are saying, "This is my area," and saying, "How you doing?" to all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and now you were saying, you know, it's summertime, so this is the time where you're going to be seeing a lot more gators out. Absolutely, you have to be extra vigilant this time of year. You've got breeding season going on. You've got the males sectioning off their territory, and you've got them pushing the small males out of their normal area and you also have this drought that we're contending with which moves alligators from place to place and before I go I'm gonna to try to touch it so can you help me out here you're gonna try and no. touch it oh my gosh because <laughs> I know, I know I'm wearing idea. orange so I, they think I'm a salmon piece of salmon right now so I don't know if that's a good idea <laughs> for real <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. No, no, I'm no. Tell you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good idea. Right okay. <laughs> I don't know. Did you touch it? I did. I okay. did. Don't be careful. You better watch your. Okay. <laughs> That's good enough. I don't want That's anything enough. bad to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Me either. Leave it, guys. Leave it Eight to the experts. experts. <laughs> That's a good. snack. Yeah, that he's seeing a snack. Tasty. See, I wore the wrong colors. They love bright colors. Yeah. Salmon. Oh yeah. Salmon. You don't want them to love you too much, Back honey. Back to you guys. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't want your countdown to go from three to one to just well two. Yeah. <laughs>